What's up college football fans? It's college football time and it's time to watch some college football. I'm gonna go over some streaming options. You have Vidgo, which is a streaming option to watch your college games, and Hulu, which is another option. There's pros and cons with both. Right away, I would strongly recommend getting an indoor or outdoor antenna for your TV. Most folks already have one. If you do not, I have so two of the strongly recommended ones down below. Check those out and get those on Amazon. Uh, right away, Vidco is missing at least one of your local channels, uh, NBC. So if you want to watch a game on that channel, you won't be able to. You'd have to switch to your antenna. At least it won't be delayed or losing your internet. You'll be able to just watch it on your local channel anyways. Now, as far as Hulu, it does not have Pac-12. So if your team's in the Pac-12 or your team plays the Pac-12, you will not be able to watch it on Hulu but you will be able to watch it on Vidgo. So Vidgo has all the Pac-12s. Uh, they both have SEC, ACC, ESPNs, all the ESPNs. It has FS1, FS2. Uh, it pretty much has everything else that you need to watch your uh, college football games. Hulu does have your local channels, so you may not have to buy an antenna, but again, if you lose service or you don't wanna worry about delays, uh, then you would have to still get an antenna with Hulu. Now, both price points are $70 to get things going, so it's not bad. Uh, most of the other streaming services are all gonna be $80, $85, even over $100 to get all the channels you need. Now, you can add, if you're an NFL fan, Red Zone to both of these as well, so that is a bonus. Not all folks that are college fans like NFL, but if maybe you at least want the NFL, uh, Red Zone, you can get that on both. Hulu is ten dollars uh, with Bitco. I believe you have to step up your package, and then it includes it. So I think it's fifteen dollars more. Uh, so do keep that in mind. But you'll get your Pack Twelves with Bitco. I have both services. I strongly recommend both services. They work great. Uh, but Hulu will give you a little more for the family. You do get your uh, Disney Plus. You do get your ESPN Plus. Uh, so you can watch a whole lot more and entertain the family with Disney Plus. Uh, but also you get a lot of on demand with Hulu as well. So you can watch latest shows, previous shows, older shows, uh, older movies. Uh, Vidco does offer on demand movies and on demand shows. Uh, but Hulu is going to have a little more of a wider selection. Vidgo, again, will have shows and movies that on demand as well. So you do kind of get best of both worlds with both of these. They're really good competitors. Hulu is obviously a lot more popular because it has the Disney Plus uh, and the ESPN Plus that you can wrap into that. Overall, they both are going to have their add-ons and things you can get that you know, we'll raise the price uh, for you, but for college football purposes, $70 gets you started, around 85 with Red Zone, around 80 with Red Zone. If that's not important for you, they're both the same price. And I have a link down below for both, so you can try them out for free, get that promo, sign up, check them out both at the same time, see which one works for you, see what ha which ones have your games, which one doesn't. One might buffer, one and the other one might not. Maybe you like the interface, Interfaces are a lot different between the two as well, uh, but definitely give them a try. See if they work for you. Again, I have both. I like to review these, and it's college football time, so I had to let everybody know. I'd like to know what you think, so give me your comments down below, and let's watch some college football.